Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you for watching. Um, I am posting this video today on YouTube because my husband and I are from the state of Washington and I am hoping to answer any questions or concerns that you might have regarding the coronavirus. Um, we know it is quite um, a topic right now and uh, for some people it's a scary thing and um, I just wanna ease some concerns or questions that you guys might have, I hope I can answer. So, um, my husband and I are actually living this firsthand. My husband, Jeremy, became very sick last week. Uh, he woke up, he had shortness of breath, he could not breathe um, very well, it was very raspy. He had a very high fever of over 102. Um, and I also had some symptoms. My symptoms were not as bad as Jeremy's. I had the fever. Mine was only 99.8. Um, I had a cough. I had the sore throat. I had a runny nose. Of course, with this phenomenon of coronavirus going around, I thought, well, we better get to the ER and we better get my husband checked because of his raspiness, his shortness of breath. He felt like he had an elephant sitting on his chest. So I was very concerned. I have been in the medical field for over 17 years. I am currently a medical assistant. Um, so I do work in the health industry. I was very concerned about these symptoms he was having. We take him to the ER. Of course, they were also very concerned about the symptoms he was having. They were excellent, very polite, very professional. They were very kind. It was not this big, scary experience. Everybody is thinking that might happen or wondering if this is what's going on. It wasn't like all these people from head to toe with these big, scary masks coming down. No, it wasn't like that at all. We walked into the regular ER entrance. There was a very nice lady sitting at the desk. Of course, she had a mask on. She took our information. She gave us masks to wear. We sat in a waiting room. People came out from the ER department. They took us to our own private room, um, just in case my husband did have the coronavirus. They were very polite, very friendly, very professional. It was not this big, scary experience that some people think it is. They did have a couple of tents out front that they were getting ready to set up to make testing quicker and easier, but that was it. It was all the normal, it was all the same, it wasn't big and scary. Um, so they did proceed to do quite a few tests on my husband from blood draws. They did draw blood from two different sites. If you test positive for the from one site for the virus, then they do a test from the second site that they drew blood. And if you test positive from both of those sites, then you definitely have the coronavirus. You have to have two confirmed positive tests to um, have confirmation that you do have the virus. They did a throat swab, they did the nasal swab, um, he was very dehydrated, so they hooked him up to some IV. We did get some medications to help him breathe. We got some steroids. We got some inhalers. Um, I myself did not get tested, even though I had a cough and I had a fever and I had a sore throat. You have to have a fever of over 100 and you have to have shortness of breath in order for them to test you. At the time we were there, which was just a few days ago, those were the regulations. If you have shortness of breath and you have a fever of over 100, they will test you. Um, if you don't have those two main symptoms, they're not gonna test you. I had every symptom except for the high fever and the shortness of breath, and I did not get tested. So my husband and I are in a quarantine until we get his test results back. We should find out any day now. Uh, the wait is a little, um, it's hard to, to wait to find out if we have this or we don't. Um, we were assured that we are not going to die from this. We are in our 40s, we're fit, we're young, we're healthy. Um, we don't have any other underlining diseases. So if my husband and I do happen to have the coronavirus, we're not going to die from this. We were able to quarantine at home. 
If my husband is positive, I will go back in for additional testing to see if I have it. Um, and even if um, I don't have it, and my husband does have it, we will be quarantined for a full two weeks after that. They will test me just to confirm if I have it or not. Um, either or, we will both be quarantined for a full two weeks if my husband does test positive for this. We were assured we're not going to die from this. Symptoms that we're going to have could be what we're going through now. The symptoms we have right now could be the worst of the symptoms. Or it could turn into symptoms of having a very bad flu. Um, that could last a couple days. It could last a month. There's, it's too early to know the timeline of um, how long your symptoms will actually last. Hopefully these symptoms we're having now, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. <coughs> Hopefully the symptoms that we're having now are the worst of it and um, hopefully he doesn't have it. If he does, worst case scenario, we'll be quarantined for two weeks and we might have further symptoms of having a bad flu, but we will survive this. Um, I hope this answers any questions or concerns you might have. It's not as big and scary as everybody thinks it is. People are surviving this. People are getting through it. Our symptoms have not been that bad. We don't feel like we're dying. My husband does have a very high fever. He does have a nasty cough. If you can hear him coughing, I apologize. Um, I just coughed a little bit myself. It's not that bad. Uh, you will get through this if you have it. The ones that are compromised immune systems are at risk. The ones with asthma are at risk and the elderly um, are at risk. Or if you already have some major underlining health issues like a, a serious cancer, those are the ones that are at risk. The young ones, we're fit, we're healthy, we don't have any other issues. We're gonna get through this and we're gonna survive. Please direct message me if you have any other questions or concerns or anything else you want me to answer, anything else you want to ask. Um, like I said, I have been in the medical field for over 17 years. I currently work in the health industry. My husband and I are living through this day by day. We have firsthand experience at this and going through the ER and getting tested. So we know all about this firsthand. It's not as big and scary as they're making it seem to be. So please, you can direct message me if you have any questions. Um, I hope this video helped ease any concerns or, or um any anxiety that you might have about it, it's really not that bad. And um, again, direct message me if you have any questions. Um, and thank you for watching. I hope this really helped. I hope you guys have a good day. Hope you're staying safe. And I hope that we're able to squash this virus um, very soon. Um, and again, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye.